Hi everyone, it's Brad Filipponi from boxbrownie.com. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a virtual tour of a property. To do this, I'll be showing you how easy it is to use a 360 camera. Then I'm gonna do a walk through all the property and shoot it in real time. Lastly, I'm gonna show you our latest technology which we've just created. This allows you to upload the 360 images to the boxbrownie.com system and create a stunning virtual tour of the property. I can't wait for this video, so let's get started. Okay, first things first, you wanna pair your camera to your smartphone. We've already done that, so we're gonna actually open this Theta app, which actually comes with this 360 camera. I'm just gonna check my settings. I've got a two second self timer on, which is great. Uh, I'm shooting in JPEG format as well. Um, my ISO, I'm gonna set that as low as I can go, which is 200, very important there. Um, the lower ISO, the more clearer your shots are gonna be with less grain. Um, I'm in the highest image size I can go. I am really happy with this. So just gonna go back into that setting right here. I'm shooting everything in automatic mode. Um, what's great about this property is it is vacant. Uh, all of our lights are on. I've opened up all our blinds, etc. All I'm gonna do is literally put the 360 camera in the middle of the room. We're gonna, we're gonna walk out right now. Um, that's great, we're not in the shot. Everything's looking good. I'm just gonna have a quick scan around the room. I'm really liking that. I've just pressed the shutter button. Two seconds, that shot has now been taken. So we are literally up to the next, the next room. So it's really as quick and as easy as that. Let's walk, uh, we might get one of the uh, garage in this property. So let's just go right in here. Once again, the middle of the room is roughly here. Um, our lights are on, everything's looking nice and neat and tidy. I'm doing this scan of, of this room. Of course, these images can all be edited. Pressing the shutter release button, two, one, that has been taken. So I'm gonna walk back in, grab this camera, as you can see, it doesn't take a lot of time to do these tours. Um, they are quick, they are easy, they are great. Um, I've just noticed here that this uh, kitchen drawer hasn't been pushed in, so I'm just gonna try and push that in like so. Uh, always, you know, cleans up the shot. I'm gonna roughly put it here so we can get the oven. You can, you know, tell that it's got double sinks. You can tell that sort of thing. Now I'm looking at my camera. This looks a little bit dark, so I can actually bump up the lighting a little bit here in this shot. Um, that looks great. We might actually hide in this room. So very important that you, you, know, you, you get out of the shot. Um, that's looking good. That's the garage, happy with that. Pressing the shutter. That shot's been taken. So it's always good to have a self timer on. Not really essential because I guess you know, you are walking away from the camera, you're not actually pressing the shutter, so it's not too bad, but it is just always good practice. Now, I'm just sort of scanning this room. I'm really thinking that this is almost the middle of this room, so we can actually get the front view of this kitchen now. We're getting all this space. We're showing it leading to that bedroom we just shot, and we're getting a bit of that front door in as well, which is really good. Um, I'm really happy with that. I'm just gonna bump that exposure down a little bit just by, via my app. You'll be able to see that screen recording. Let's walk in here out of the shot. Always scanning my, my images, maybe come in a little bit more, pressing that button. So as you can see, the Wi-Fi on these cameras are actually quite good. We're at least five, 10 meters away from that camera, you know, and the Wi-Fi is making it through the through the through these walls to it. Um, so you know, they're, 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 they're just such a great tool for any realtor out there who wants to take, you know, 360 tours themselves. Um, and it doesn't take long. That is a beauty of these, of these systems. Um, what actually sets the boxbrownie.com platform up, you know, apart from the others is you don't actually have to put the tour together. So you just take the photos like we are now, upload them to our website, and then our team will actually put these, you know, these together for you. Mr. Cameraman, you're just in my shot. Let's go in here. This will be good here. 360 cameras see everything. So I'm just gonna hit that button. Shot's taken, so we're gonna get that camera. 
and just move it to the next area of the home. What I'm almost even thinking is, we've got a little bit of a hallway here, so I might even just get my next hotspot right here. So it's actually gonna, you know, I never really take, you know, 360s of toilets or anything like that, but this image here is actually gonna show, you know, really in perspective where all these rooms are. So we might go hide in, the, let's go this room in here again. We might even, I might even hide myself in the closet. No, I'm not coming out, I promise. Um, I'm checking these shots, looking good. None of us are in it, which is great. Hitting that button. Shots taken, so we're gonna go straight now into the bathroom. Which is roughly here. I'm doing a quick scan around. The lighting looks really good. I'm really happy with that. We can go anywhere in this room and we'll be fine, Mr. Cameraman. Once again, taking that shot, it's captured. So we have uh, one more room here. Then we have the master bedroom with ensuite. And then we're ready for the outside. So I just love 360 cameras. They're such a great tool for anyone marketing property. It's not hard, you can do it yourself. It doesn't take long. And you know, the results are just mind blowing. You know, by taking 360 shots, you really pre-qualify your buyer before they even meet you. Um, I know that so many real estate agents have been inquiring about this software. And you know, us releasing it at the moment is just such good timing for so many people. That shot has been taken, which is great. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take a quick one in the ensuite, just here of the master bedroom. I've just noticed that this shower is down a bit, this head. So I'm just gonna adjust that quite quickly. Hopefully it stays, maybe it won't. I tried. All good. So we're gonna put that in the middle of the room. You know the drill. We're just gonna probably walk out here. I'm gonna check that screen. Everything looks great. Happy with that. Keep it coming, keep it coming. We're good. That shot's taken. So we have one more of the master bedroom. Then we're gonna get some of the patio area here. We have another section of the backyard, which we'll get, and then we're gonna finish up out the front. So middle of the room, roughly here. Scanning my shot. Everything looks good. We're gonna walk here. Still scanning, really happy with that. I can hear the camera engaging the shutter. That shot's done, so we are ready for the outside. So. All I'm shooting everything today is automatic, automatic settings, you know, 100 ISO, you know, it can't be simpler to be honest. Um, I'm gonna leave this gate open a little bit. I'm just gonna put this camera up top here. So obviously it's a bit windy today, right? So I wanna give everyone the option. These cameras can be quite expensive. So if you take, if you wanna set it up here and get out of the way to take the shot, there's a good chance the wind could blow this over and smash it on the concrete, which none of us want. So great tip from us. Find a plain sort of, you know, ground, you know, like so, and you can actually just sit here. Don't hold it because you can you actually can, can create movement. Just be here ready to catch it. Um, obviously, you know, you're going to tell now by looking at this video that I will be present in the shot. But in our image enhancement service, we'll actually remove you, the photographer, out of the shot for free. So very, very great tip. Don't leave your camera on its own outside especially if it's windy you don't want it to knock over you know hold the camera or be ready to brace it when need be and take the shot so so i'm just going to sit down here it's very windy i'm not going to actually touch the tripod but just be ready to catch it that shot's been taken and i'm going to take one more angle just over here Roughly like so. Getting ready to capture this camera. There you have it. So that, that you know, the rear of this property has been done. I'm gonna get one more in the patio area. I just wanna, I just wanna mention, it's a little bit overcast today. So once these are edited under our standard image enhancement service, we replace the sky, we'll even green up this grass so it looks a lot greener to match this beautiful foliage here. 
all this is standard. So um, it's just such a great tool to know it can be done. Of course, we can digitally stage rooms as well um, and also remove items. So in this property, we will add some furniture. I'll add furniture like in areas like the master bedroom and also these living areas. So we can you know, talk about that later in a blog. So this is our patio area. I think a rough shot from here will look great. So I might go about here. We might uh, go hide in the master bedroom just here. Great, just checking my exposure as I'm walking in. We might hide roughly here. Hit that shutter. There are cameras out there that bracket. Um, we do have great blog posts on this, but just for ease of use, these are all single exposure shots as this is how we feel most realtors will shoot 360 homes. Okay, our last shot is just out the front. So we're gonna walk down this side access. We've got the gate shut to show how private this place is. I'm gonna roughly put the camera here. So a good thing you wanna notice, this is quite uh, unsteady ground, which is okay. Just make sure you have no camera movement. These are only single shots, so it's not as bad. I'm checking my exposure. Just gonna darken it a tad. I'm just gonna sit down again once again, so I'm out of the way of most of the shot. Take that angle right here, and look, there you have it. That is how you shoot a home yeah, virtually, via 360 camera, we'll create the walkthrough. So what we're gonna do now is go to back to the studio, upload these photos to be edited first, and then we're actually gonna show you how, to, how easy it is to create a walkthrough using the boxbrandy.com platform. Can't wait to show you what, how, how it all works. All right, everybody, so we're back here in the boxbrownie.com studio. We are creating a virtual tour today, but prior to this, I actually wanna get the 360 photos edited before we make the tour. The reason is the tour is gonna to look a lot more sleeker and professional when it's done. So what we're looking at here is the boxbrownie.com dashboard. I'm just gonna scroll down to 360 image enhancement, that tile right there, and literally just following the prompts. So as I'm uploading these photos right now, I just wanted to let everybody know that you actually don't have to edit the photos. You could literally create a virtual tour just from the straight JPEG files taken off your 360 camera. So look, let's wait for these to upload and move on to the next step. Okay, so the images are uploaded right now. I'm just gonna scroll down here and hit next. And what that's gonna do is open up a range of options for the editing. So I don't need item removal. I don't need virtual staging. I just need our image enhancement. What I would like done is my grass repaired in every photo, yes. Would I like sky replacement? Yes, I would. And what's really great is you can pick what sort of sky you want. So I'm just gonna go the big fluffy clouds with blue sky, that looks great. Um, I would like my TV screens replaced with a landscape image, yes I would. And my file size, I'd like them to be as big as possible. What's really great about getting your images edited first, we can also remove things like the camera tripod. We can even replace it with your company logo top and bottom. And 360 cameras are prominent for stitch lines. So we actually remove those in the editing process as well. So all this is included. What I'm gonna do is apply all these options for all the rest of the photos. Um, this is gonna save me a lot of time. Hit next, and then we have to review our order. I know that that's all good to go. So once I hit submit, these jobs will be put into the editing queue. They'll be back within 24 hours. And once they're back, we can then create our virtual tour. So I can't wait to get these photos back to you and move on to the final step. Okay, everybody, it's been 24 hours. Our 360 photos are now enhanced. Um, I've just picked out two examples and I just wanted to have a quick chat about the differences you know, 360 image enhancement makes. So here is our unedited JPEG image. And when you flick over to the edited JPEG image, you can see a few changes straight away. We've removed the pool cleaner 
and all the leaves out of the pool. We've also greened up the grass. And lastly, we've even replaced the sky as well, lightened you know, and brightened the contrast of the image. And it really just pops now. Um, you know, this is the difference our real estate image enhancement makes on 360 photos. It's super paramount to get that professional look. Um, and here's another version right now. Here is the, the garage, as you can see here. Not a lot will change in this image, but the main thing you'll see here is just the tripod removal and of course the lightening and brightening of the image. So there you have it. That's what the editing looks like prior to our virtual tours. As we've spoken about previously, you don't have to edit your photos for our virtual tours. It's just an option if you want a professional outcome. So let's upload all these images to the virtual tours platform right now and uh, show you how it's done. Okay, everybody, so we're logged into the boxbrandy.com dashboard. Let's create our virtual tour and show you how easy it is. So there's two options. So um, this tab up here, the 360 virtual tours, you can click that. Um, or of course, you can just scroll down and click the 360 virtual tools tile right here. So let's just follow the prompt. So first up, we're after a property address. Let's just call this one Test Street uh, for educational purposes. Next, you need to upload the 360 images you want a virtual tour created for. So while they're uploading, let's scroll down. Next, you can actually upload your floor plan. This can either be edited or unedited. That's where that goes right here. We actually don't have one for this property yet. Um, so what we're gonna do now is move on to naming the images for the tour. So what's really great is you can do this while they're uploading. Um, and the reason is um, you wanna name your photos um, what the area up, you know, is because you can actually scroll through on the tour and click you know, via photo method or via floor plan as well as the hotspots. Um, you'll know more once we view these, uh, this tour. Um, so I'm just going through and naming these images. Um, let's call this bedroom one. Um, and we have you know, 14 of these to do today. So this can be the front. Next up is the kitchen. Next up is our master bedroom. I'm gonna call this area the kitchen, dining slash living area. This one here can be bedroom two, bedroom three. So if you can attach a floor plan, it's always a great option especially when your clients are viewing online, it really gives the whole tour perspective. This one here can be called the bathroom. Here's the ensuite. Patio area. Get the spelling right. This one here is the garage. And last but not least is the hallway. So the hallway is a great option to take photos of. Uh, might not seem too important, but for the tour, it's great for hotspots. So in this hallway, I can actually see where the toilet is, the bathroom, and of course, where the other bedrooms are located as well. Um, so awesome. So I'm gonna click checkout. Um, once I hit submit, this will be actually added into the virtual tours uh, queue. You'll get this back within 24 hours. Um, so let's submit this now and uh, wait for our tour to come back and, and review what we can see. Okay, everybody, so it's been 24 hours and we have our tour back. So as you can see, virtual tours are a great way to showcase any property. You know, you can click on these hotspots and, and literally just walk through the whole property. You know, almost like you're actually inside it. They're so cool. I'm seriously in love with them. And I really think they are the future of selling property, especially due, you know, during these testing times at the moment. Um, what's really cool is you know you can stop at your own leisure, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can literally walk through the whole property and really get a you know a feel for the whole space and you know and it really have a good look at what you're buying. Um, as I spoke about earlier, the reason why we name the photos is because you can literally go from hotspot to hotspot here just by clicking these below options. Uh, it's really really great. If you did have a floor plan, it would be a floor plan icon would be situated right here. 
and you know, like, you're, like you're clicking through the photos, you can actually click through the floor plan hotspots also. So super cool, super easy to do and very, very quick and, and, and easy. So if you'd like any more information on virtual tours, what camera to buy, what tripod to buy, etc., anything, please reach out to boxbrownie.com on live chat, phone calls or email, hello at boxbrownie.com. We can't wait to see your virtual tours coming through and we're here to help you.